How's it going everybody, Payton here, and welcome to the Warships. Today I'm bringing something special to you guys. So I said I'd do something special that nobody has done before, so today I'm giving you tips and tricks that I usually use when I'm playing the aircraft carriers. So this is gonna be about 10 tips and tricks that I usually use when I play aircraft in War Warships, so let's start by tip number one. Tip number one. Tip number one is situational awareness. This is the one of the most crucial things as an aircraft carrier. Now, what it does it mean is it you put a bit more attention on yourself than I don't know on anything else. So, in this case, as you can see, the enemy aircraft carrier is going, of course, after me, as I am right here, and I'm also meanwhile assaulting his aircraft carrier, well, his uh, ship. So. Uh, I'm dealing the damage uh, to him, but meanwhile um, I am setting the new course uh, directly for this island so I can at least disengage some uh, bombs and torpedoes. So meanwhile I'm readying another torpedo run on this guy. I'm just readying torpedoes and he is also readying up for his diving bomb run. Meanwhile he's also going for that Hatsuru and he, now he's we're getting ready and his fighters are starting to attack me I dropped the torpedoes one of them is gonna hit but he's also reading for another um, torpedo run and bombing run so I start maneuvering towards him exposing the least side of my ship and minimizing the chance of torpedoes hitting me and here comes the torpedoes and die bombers meanwhile I call back my fighters so they can react to the enemy attack and here comes the torpedoes. I was enough fast to spot the enemy, well I took just one dive bomb hit, but I dodged all the torpedoes. So that is situational awareness. So let's go to the next tip. Tip number two. The group flying. The group flying is the most effective way to get to the enemy and make uh, the mo most of it. So as you can see, I'm flying in a group, I have all my attack uh, planes in the station. As you can see, there is a fighter pilot in there and a fighter squadron. So he is going for the um, attack, uh, the dive bombers. And as you can see, there is also a Admiral Hipper, which is taking out my torpedo squadron. And here's my target, the enemy aircraft carrier, which is the target that I usually go first for, because if I take out the enemy aircraft carrier, I also get um, the, him out of the sky and I have the skies for myself. And the, the dive bombers are eating all of the damage. Meanwhile, I set up the uh, dive bombers for a um, bombing run and I'm resetting the torpedo bomb, the bombers for a strafing run and set up the attack and torpedoes in the water. And, whoop, and will it hit? And the squadron died, but we managed to drop off torpedoes, and here it comes the torpedo hit. And that's the enemy down. So, this is a very effective, but not always. So let me explain why in a little bit next footage. So here is scenario where I am in the same review, and I'm going for the enemy aircraft carrier, but I was too busy trying to defend my ship. Uh, as I saw that the fighters are going uh, after the planes and the bombers are going after the the ship I didn't realize that he could do the strafing run all over these planes that are going just in one straight line and he did just that and he did the full strafing run on these guys which took them all out and um, this is the reason why you should always be cautious about how you are sending your ships in attack and don't leave them undefended so this is, was tip number two, and let's go to tip number three. Tip number three, manual drops. Manual drops are really, really important to learn. Because with them, if you master them, you can sink enemy ships really, really effectively. Now my tip and trick for you is, usually first thing you do, I bomb the enemy ship. If he's gonna be enough stupid, he's gonna repair the fire damage. And then I usually come with the torpedo bombers, which uh, hit them from the side. And if he turns towards them, I have the second torpedo squadron ready to come from the other side. And I hit them from the other side, and I ready the torpedoes. I drop them, and this one is gonna hit. 
And in a second now, it's gonna be the fire damage. So you can learn different techniques and how you place down the uh, f fire and all of this. You can uh, now come from the left side and the right side from both ways, or you can come from the front or the back. It all depends, but it's important that you master the manual drops. You need to master the distance and the angles to approach them. So that's was tip number three. Let's get to tip number four. Tip number four: scouting. Now, scouting is something really useful in the game. It helps you and it helps your allies. So what I usually do at the start of the game, I send uh, squadrons of fighters and bombers in different directions. So in this case, I send left and right. So. As you can see, I spotted two destroyers and my fire squadron, and I'm sending the other squadron to intercept the fighters, so I have the advantage at the start. So, as you can see, I spotted another cruiser, and uh, here is, is spotted another uh, uh, cruiser. So, this is helping me and my uh, uh, well, friends, uh, other battleships, so they are now concentrating fire on this Kiev uh, class destroyer. And I'm also buffing it. And nice hits so scouting you it's important but you need to keep an eye because you sometimes might find some nasty things so keep an eye on the other let's say Cleveland's and other ships so let's get to another tip tip number five tip number five outnumbered fighters if you get outnumbered by an enemy try to use one squadron as a bait like in this case Americans can use one squadron as a bait and the second squadron takes all the enemies out. Now, if you're Japanese and you're outnumbered uh, heavily by Americans, you can do something like this. Now, in case of Japanese, your fighters are in smaller squadrons, so it means four fighters against six American fighters. So you need to use something else for the bait. So, in my case, I usually use the Trapedium dive bombers. As you can see, the well, in this case, is the under Japanese fighter squadrons, but they're all following my um, torpedo bomber squadron and I'm setting up the uh, fighter and I'm writing up I sank that guy and here comes the stripping and here comes the damage so as you can see one squadron against three squadron it can do big amounts of damage to inflict the damage so I'm placed down in one stripping run only those two torpedo bomber squadrons which are easily replaced so this is how I use my fighters in case of being outnumbered. And always keep an eye on your squadrons because sometimes somebody like me might come up and just do this to your squadrons. Every second now and... The carnage is here! Uh -huh. So keep an eye always on your squadrons in any case. So let's go to the next tip. Tip number 6. Tip number 6. Baiting the enemy defensive fire cooldown with dive bombers. So in this case I had this Molotov and I want to attack it but I need to first trigger a defensive cooldown. So what I do, I send in some torpedo and dive bombers but I only send in the dive bombers so as you can see the circle is bigger because defensive car fire cooldown is active and I pull all the planes back and I wait for a minute and a half and then I launch my torpedo and dive bombers on them. So this is a simple trick and it's always useful but you need to be careful uh, on the timing so because the defensive cooldown is active for one minute and a half so you need to watch the timer so let's get to the next tip tip number seven number seven avoid going straight back to your aircraft carrier so the battle is gonna be lost um, there's no mm, chance that we are gonna win so I'm uh, gonna start diverting the planes in other direction so the enemy is gonna think that I'm in the sector EF EF10 and so I'm gonna divert their attention to the other sector so they won't go directly for me so as you can see they're still moving that direction I come to this uh, sector I think it's about six kilometers far so they don't spot my planes anymore and I start pulling them nicely back um, as you see, the enemy is still thinking I'm in the section. Oh my god, there is an aircraft carrier right near there in that direction. And so, I'm, this game was the last, but I managed to keep the whole ship intact. So, this is the th uh, trick number 7. So, let's get to tip number 8. Tip number 8. 
If you are getting wrecked by the enemy fighters, do not worry, because your allies also have the anti-aircraft capabilities, which is quite useful when it comes to dealing with the enemy fighters. In the most cases when you are gonna be outnumbered by the enemy fighters in the American cases or in the Japanese cases with the triple uh, the fighter loadout. As you can see I'm outnumbered 6 to 4 and I already lost two of my planes. They lost only one thanks to Budwani and the other York class cruisers which are have a nice, well not the best, but very nice anti-aircraft capability and with the help of the fighter pilot they managed to take out the entire fighter squadron of American fighters down with no problem. Tip number 9 Trying to help your friendly carriers The basic point of the aircraft carrier is to work together Now. In this case, it's not something major, I'm just gonna try to help this uh, aircraft, well, friendly aircraft carrier against two of these destroyers. I'm gonna use these torpedo squadrons and dive bomber squadrons trying to, I don't know, damage or at least put the destroyer out of its track. So, I'm gonna dive bomb this guy and I'm gonna drop some torpedoes on him really soon. Um, you don't have to always do the damage, you can always, I don't know, support the cruise uh, carrier by uh, taking out the airplanes ne uh, near to him that are spawning him, so you can do many things for your ally uh, ships. I don't know. In this case, you just this, but I don't know. Uh, it depends on the situation. So here, I don't hit the destroyer, but I managed to turn it, and the battleship get him. So that was uh, I don't know the point of this uh, tip. So next tip, let's get to tip number ten. And final tip, tip number 10, play as you like. The most important thing is to play as you most like it. So I'm usually more of an I don't know, defensive player, so I always try to, I don't know, to play Americans or I don't know. I rarely play the well, Japanese, but I play them because I like to do some damage too. So it's a... Uh, I don't know, it depends on what kind of player you are, because I'm more defensive as I said and like to defend people and try to annoy the other, well, aircraft carriers. Now, if you feel like I don't know more of the uh, offensive person, you should you, you should probably go for the Japanese because they are really, really fun to play and they are, I don't know, really, really entertaining uh, for me, in my opinion. So, uh, Americans, I don't know, they are not strong particularly in the um, offense, but they are pretty strong on defense, in my opinion, because Japanese, in my opinion, they lack a bit of, I know, firepower, and the squadrons are smaller, and they don't get that much ammunition to play. So, if you are an offensive and defensive person, it's it's all okay, you can play anything you like. I, well, in my opinion, I prefer more the defensive role in the, the fleet, but it's all, as I said, it's all on you, so. Um, this is gonna be final tip, and I hope you guys, I know, got something useful out of this video. I'm trying to inform and learn, educate people on how to play aircraft cars because I see a lot of times that people, I don't know, don't use their full potential in the ship. But uh, I don't know. I'm gonna try to make this kind of video this is the aircraft cars because. I see them, the people are most struggling with them. Now the next class is gonna be probably Battleship, because people don't know the VSD Hex. And yeah, I'm just moving around so you don't have get hit by repeated hits. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, leave a like down below, and the comment is always uh, helpful and useful for me. Uh, I know, tell me if you want to see more of this type of videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope I see you in the next one. So, see ya!